Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla storms by BMW to take early luxury crown in US. Tesla is being sued by owner in attempt to remove its monopoly on repairs. Tesla supercharger V4 revealed to be twice as powerful. And Tesla on track for wide release of FSD beta version 11 this weekend, says Elon Musk. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. According to new registration data from Experian, Tesla topped the US luxury vehicle market, taking the top spot from BMW. Unsurprisingly, Tesla's price cut at the beginning of the year, which slashed $13,000 off of the Model Y and thousands off the Model 3, significantly affected demand. This effect was first prominently seen in China, as Tesla's price cut quickly stole sales away from domestic leaders BYD, NIO, and Zpeng. Now, a similar effect has been seen in the United States, with Tesla toppling BMW as the top luxury vehicle seller in the country, according to Automotive News. Tesla first stole the crown from BMW last year, but has widened the gap. Tesla sold a gargantuan 49,917 vehicles in the US in the first month of the year, while BMW sold 31,070. Tesla's lead was only more apparent compared to third and fourth place, Mercedes and Lexus, who sold fewer vehicles combined than Tesla. Mercedes-Benz sold 23,345 units, while Lexus sold 23,082 units. As pointed out by Automotive News, Tesla's dominance is easily explained by the exponential growth in demand, it continues to garner. Tesla sales bloomed 34% in January, compared to the same time in 2022. Its most popular models, the Model 3 and Model Y, lead this sales growth, up 29% and 56% respectively. Tesla sold 17,526 Model 3s and 28,833 Model Ys, showing that the slightly larger crossover remains the more popular body style in the United States. Both Tesla models demolished their BMW counterpart, the BMW i4, which sold only 1,650 units and was the 10th most popular EV during the same time frame. Other top luxury brands, while still growing, could not keep up with Tesla's pace. BMW grew sales by 2.5%, Mercedes by 7.3%, while Lexus saw sales contract by 6.6%. Overall, the EV market grew dramatically, up 87% compared to January 2022. Another factor that has likely helped Tesla and other EV manufacturers is the restructuring of the federal EV incentives. Tesla, along with General Motors and others, regained its ability to qualify for the subsidies, which continue to motivate buyers. Moving to the next update, Tesla is being sued by owner in an attempt to remove its monopoly on repairs. Tesla is facing a new lawsuit instigated by an owner who is attempting to have Tesla give up its quasi-monopoly on repairing its vehicles. Most people agree that Tesla bypassing the franchise car dealer model and going direct to consumers is an asset for the company. Tesla is removing the intermediary between the automaker and the consumer for both selling and servicing its vehicles. However, there's a downside for the consumer, which is that Tesla has almost complete control over repairing and servicing its vehicles. Now Tesla doesn't technically have a full monopoly on Tesla vehicle repair. There are several third-party service centers where you can get your Tesla serviced. But it's not easy, since the few shops that went into the complicated and expensive process to support Tesla vehicles still rely on Tesla to get parts. In practice, most Tesla owners don't have access to repair from anyone other than the automaker itself, unless they are located in the few markets where there are third-party shops that can service and repair Tesla vehicles. Now a Tesla owner in California has filed an antitrust lawsuit against the automaker because of the lack of access to repair. The lawsuit claims that Tesla is actively working to limit access to repairs, which led Tesla owners to suffer lengthy delays in repairing or maintaining their electric vehicles only to pay super competitive prices for those parts and repairs once they are finally provided. 
Now we want to be fair here and make it clear that there are other options than Tesla in some markets. But having talked to those people, it hasn't been easy to set up support for Tesla vehicles, and Tesla is not always easy to work with when it comes to getting parts and diagnostic capability. However, it has apparently been getting better over the last year or so. We don't know exactly what this lawsuit can accomplish, but if anything, it is bringing some attention to the issue. We still firmly believe that Tesla's direct service approach is the way to go, but we also think that there's room to create some competition and keep the company in check. Moving to the next update, Tesla Supercharger V4 revealed to be twice as powerful. Tesla Supercharger V4 has been revealed to have the potential to be twice as powerful as the previous generation. We are finally starting to get a little more information about the specs of the Supercharger V4, the latest generation of Tesla's popular DC fast charging station. Last year, we reported on Tesla's Supercharger V4 design, being revealed in the plans for a new station. Tesla is believed to be ramping up production of the new charger in order to start deployment soon. The new charger is expected to feature the potential for a higher charge rate, which is currently capped at 250 kW for the Supercharger V3, and a solution to allow CCS charging for non-Tesla electric vehicles. The CCS solution was later revealed to be the Magic Dock. Thus far, we have only seen it deployed on Supercharger V3 stations, and the V4 had yet to show its face until earlier this month. We reported that Tesla started to deploy its first known Supercharger V4 station in the Netherlands. However, the station was still covered at the time. Recently, we reported a first look at the station, and now, Tesla officially launched it. But again, Tesla didn't reveal any new information about the next generation supercharger, other than the obvious, a longer cable. However, thanks to local Tesla owners visiting the new charging station, we are learning a little more about its power. A Tesla owner spotted the electric car specs of the charger, revealing a rated voltage of 1000 volt and a rated current of 615 ampere. That would mean a total max power output of 600 kilowatt. Of course, the top-rated output is rarely something that is maintained or even achieved, but theoretically, that's what the new Supercharger V4 can do. The other limitation is at the car level. Most Tesla vehicles today won't be able to accept half of that power, and that's when they are almost entirely depleted. It could indicate where Tesla plans to go with its electric vehicles in the near future. Also, we don't know if Tesla splits that power, though that strategy is something that the automaker previously moved away from, with the Supercharger V3. The combination of a longer cable design with a higher output makes this update a significant one. But the higher power output is not that important right now, considering the limitation is still on the vehicle side and will likely remain like that for a while. Moving to the last update, Tesla on track for wide release of FSD beta version 11 this weekend, says Elon Musk. Tesla's highly anticipated full self-driving beta version 11 is set for a wide release this coming weekend, according to the latest timeline provided by CEO Elon Musk. The update is important as it merges Tesla's FSD and legacy autopilot highway stacks, the latter of which is over four years old. FSD Beta version 11 has been in the works for a long time. It first appeared on employee cars in November last year and was supposed to release to the fleet of public beta testers before Halloween. However, several delays later, and the version only made it to a limited number of public testers last week. The update also addressed the issues raised by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, which resulted in an over-the-air recall. Tesla also paused the rollout of FSD beta to new owners or subscribers until the issues are addressed. The FSD beta software allows Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously to a destination, entered into the car's navigation system. The driver still needs to remain alert and prepared to take control of the vehicle however, as it is still considered a level 2 driver assist system. In North America, there are currently over 400,000 Tesla owners in the FSD beta testing program. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. 
Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.